Okay, it's Anne here from Mulberry Millie Upright Quilt Basting Frames. Just showing you this lovely quilt that's been sent to me to um, put the quilt together on the frame and then send it back to its owner so she can see whether she likes my frame or not. So what I've done here is I've just put the, the quilt top on the front here and just let it hang for a little while. And I've got the backing here on the back part of the quilt hanging and the same with the wadding so I'll decide whether or not to iron it okay so that's getting ready to um, to baste the quilt hi it's Anne again from Mulberry Millie Upright Quilt Basting Frames what I've done now this is the second video in this how to quilt a how to baste a quilt what I've done is if you remember that lovely quilt we had here I've put that at the back of the frame and then I've put the wadding out on top just to make sure I've got enough wadding. Okay, so I've got that at the back of the frame, just hanging up and getting the creases out of it. And now I'm going to put the backing on the front of the frame and get started. Okay, so we'll see you in a little bit of time. Hi, this is video number three. This is Libby there. We've decided that because the um, backing had been folded for a little while, we were going to um, get the steamer out and get rid of some of those fold lines. Okay, what we've done here is we've clamped the um, backing straight onto the frame. And once we've finished doing this, we'll proceed to uh, use the quilting tack gun to put it together after we've put the backing and the top on. There you go, there's Libby. Look how much weight she's lost. Isn't she wonderful? She's been on such a great diet. Here's Anne. She's just tightening up the backing fabric. What you can see at the moment is the back of the backing fabric. Of course, the top of it is facing into the centre of the frame. She's just adjusting the tension using the clamps. Very quick, very easy. There we go, no wrinkles, nice and tight, just a little bit bouncy, we don't want it too tight, we just want it to have a little bit of resistance when you push on it. All done. Beautiful. Hi, this is the fifth video. Um, and I've, what I've done now is I've got the batting on or some people might call it the wadding and I've just stretched that across over the top of the backing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the top and put the top on prior to commencing the basting. This is just a little safety video for when you're using any tacking guns with uh, my quilting frame so if you just have a look here my helper is going to push the, the needle through and show you what happens on the other side so you just got to make sure that there's nobody there just got to find where she is <clears throat> there we go there's the needle so click please that's good now one more a little bit further along there we go click well done, one more and then we're finished. So you can see there you don't really want anybody to be on the other side of your quilt. You wouldn't like them to get um, <clears throat> scratched with the needle. Okay, now when it comes to taking the, the tacks out, when you've um, finished and you want to you want to get the tacks out, you can get this little, this little tool and it just safely cuts it. If you use it properly, you won't... Um, you won't damage your your fabric. You won't cut your fabric. It's a little bit hard doing it with one hand. Where are we? There we go, and it's done. So thank you for watching, and I'll get on with finishing Narelle's quilt so I can get it back to her.
Here we have quill tack. This is the tagging gun system that Anne is using for basting the quilt. Now I'll draw back and you can see the beautiful quilt that Narell has provided for Anne to use in this little movie. There we go. Three wide and it's four blocks. Now Anne has been at this for 10 minutes. In the 10 minutes, she's tag basted the top three blocks, starting at the top and working down. She's now further down, so she's able to sit down in a chair to do the basting from here on. Basting this way, using the Mulberry Millie system, is physically very easy because Anne doesn't have to bend or stretch to do any of the basting. Using the little tagging gun, it's able to Using the tagging gun, you're able to very quickly and easily baste the quilt so the three layers are held very nice and firmly together. You can then take it off the frame and take it away to machine quilt or hand quilt. Now I'll get a close-up of Anne actually using the gun so you can see how it works. There you go, about to put another one in. Push, pull the trigger and it's done. Push, pull the trigger and it's done. Another one, push, pull the trigger and it's done. With the blocks, with the seam lines running everywhere, instead of doing the basting in a neat grid pattern, Anne is adjusting the basting so that it's clear of all the seam lines that will be used for uh, quilt in the ditch. Just smooth as you go. No wrinkles anywhere. I'll I'm now show you around the back so you can see what the back of the quilt looks like. Here we go. Smooth, no wrinkles, no problems at all. Using the basting gun, it moves things around a little bit, so Anne needs to retention every so often. I'll just get her to show you how she can retention the quilt. Yeah. There you go. Now, all retentioned back to being nice and taut and Anne can keep on going with the tag basting. For the top three blocks it would have taken around 10 minutes. 10 minutes for the next three, 10 for the bottom three and then we'll have to move the quilt top up, retention and it'll be another 10 minutes for the bottom three. So about 40 minutes for one person to base this quilt and maybe 10 minutes at the most for the repositioning in between. So in less than an hour you've got it very closely basted, ready to take off the frame, take away and quilt however you want. Smooth down and out as you go. What I'm doing here <clears throat> is I'm just feeling where the tacks are. Sometimes with the with the colours, it's a bit hard to actually see where you put the tack. So I'm <clears throat> just feeling where I put my last one, and I try to keep it. A, a fist apart, but I'm trying to avoid the <clears throat> the stitching lines here where they might do a stitch in the ditch. Okay, we're going to stop now, <clears throat> and then I'll reposition the quilt, and we'll finish it off, and we'll do the last video. So thank you for being patient with us, and bye for now. This is Anne from Mulberry Millie. I'm in the middle of doing uh, Narelle's quilt here. 
and I've just taken the, the first piece off and repositioned it and retentioned it. So I've just turned it over to show you what I do. So you can use the frame, the top of the frame to take the weight of the of your, the part of the quilt that you've already done because you don't want to be pinning through that by accident. Okay, now I'm going to turn the frame around with one hand just to show you how light it is. <coughs> Here we go. And I'm just on the final stages of the the quilt. I've re retentioned it so I can do the last bit of it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish tacking that take it off the frame pack it up and send it back to Norell so there we are that's the last of the videos and um, this lovely quilt will be on its way home to its owner